Here's a story that might inspire my fellow adoptees. In 2019, no one believed I could accomplish anything substantial. I was the worst student in the classroom and people doubted my ability. For a while, I did too. I struggled with my confidence and thought people would cut me off if I made a mistake because history repeats itself. Through music, I have been able to connect with other adoptees and relate to other adoptees in a way that I haven't experienced in my whole life. I grew up playing music, attending live shows. It was um, it was great. And there was a sense of community and everything else, but I was still the only um, you know Asian person or uh, adoptee present at these shows. After my first year of college, I was kicked out of my major. I tried my best, studied hard, stayed up late, but produced no results. How could someone put in so much time and effort but fail so miserably? I had a 1.6 GPA and every door was closing on me. Up until recently, I found, um, you know, the, I connected with the people who are in the current projects and bands that I'm in now and learned that there are, you know, m multiple other adoptees that I'm at least aware of who have found the same sense of self um, at these, like, shows in, in the hardcore scene or in the punk scene. Or... I was left with two options transfer majors and accept defeat, or bet on myself and transfer schools to pursue a career I was passionate about. I took the latter option. My advisor told me this was stupid, and if I failed, I would be done forever. No schools would let me transfer in. You might feel like you're alone in a lot of instances, but I think uh, the things that we've experienced as adoptees, um, a lot of other adoptees have experienced it as well, with those things as well. I transferred to one of the best schools for applied exercise science, Springfield College, and I am now at the top of my class with a 3.96 GPA, impacting incoming students by revamping our internship program and leading the next generation of healthcare professionals. There's, you know, hundreds of thousands of adoptees in the U.S. right now, and it's very likely that you have crossed paths or may have yet to cross paths with an adoptee that, you know, shares, uh, you know, similar experiences and there is community to be built. Um, I think that, that that's the main thing is that these things, you feel like you're tied to one specific track or one specific, um, you know, outcome in life, but you'll meet, uh, if you put yourself out there and put your uh, message out in the world, I think that all adoptees will have the experience of it hitting home for someone else. I'm not saying that the flex. I want you all to know that we are all dealt a hand in life, and the only thing we can do is play our cards the best we can and adapt our plan as new opportunities arise. There will always be people who doubt you, but continue to bet on yourself and take the path less traveled to avoid a life of regret. We have a community to build, so I think that uh, that's what we need to focus on is connecting adoptees um, through you know adoptions, 50, 60 year history uh, in the US from, from Korea specifically. Sometimes in life, things won't work out the way you want them to, and that's okay. Some of the best things that happened to me were because of unanticipated opportunities.